Well, another day, YouTube members. Another day. Thursday. Almost payday. Hoping to get paid on Saturday. I don't know, maybe. Some banks will release it quicker than other banks. I, time will tell. Anyway, uh, if not, it'll be Monday. But anyway, um, yeah, another video. I know, I know you you guys was waiting for me to put up another video. Probably can't hardly wait to see another video put up by me. You know, they're so exciting and thrilling, right? Just makes your day, huh? When I put up another video. Well, that guy sounds like he's from the hills of Arkansas. He got the education of a fifth grader. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hardly wait, huh? Well, I don't have much to do. Just kicking back. I'll, I'll toss them up. Might as well. Nothing else to do right now. Went down to the store, picked up some groceries. Yeah, I'm tired of spending so much money on groceries. Takes most of my money just for groceries, man. Unbelievable. I can't go down there without spending 40 bucks on groceries. You know, and that's a light day. Unbelievable. I eat good, though. You know, I'm not one of these people that go down there and buy them, them cup of noodles, you know, noodles in a cup, and you put water in it, and you throw it in the microwave. And what is that, like 50 cents or something? I eat them once in a while. They're okay, like, once, twice a month. That's about it. I don't know. People eat them things every day. Wow, man. But, no, I eat good. I, I'll go down there and get good food, but it sure is expensive. But, anyway, got back and home here. And neighbor had, has a flat tire on his car. Out there changing his tire. That's a sight to see. Believe me, you wouldn't want to see it. You know, <laughs> a lot of these, a lot of these guys around this neighborhood, I swear they, they wear these baggy pants, right? They don't have no belt. You know, and any time they bend over or something or changing a tire, man, it's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. I mean, have some decency, man. You know, man, I, I do. I, I put, I got a belt on. You know, I mean, I know pants are. For me, it's hard to get a good pair of pants that fit good because I'm kind of an odd size. And it's rather they're too little too big, or they're a little too tight. You know, it's kind of like I'm in between sizes, right? And uh, I'd rather have them a little bit too big because too tight, they're uncomfortable. But when they're a little bit too big, then you have to wear a belt, okay? Because if you don't wear a belt, yeah, it's going to be like that, man. I mean, you're outside, you squat down, bend over or something, man. And, you know, I mean, it's just common sense, you know, it's common sense. Uh, you know, I... I don't want to see that, man. Good night. What a world, man. People don't even people don't even know how to dress right anymore. You know, they don't even have to put a belt on. I mean, I understand in, in between sizes because I have that problem. I, I really do. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I bought a pair of pants, and I was trying not to get them too loose. Got them home too tight, so I got to buy a size too big, so I'll be comfortable. Then I got to wear a belt, and sometimes you know, different pants, man, have different materials. You know, some of them are actually a little bit bigger, and even with a belt on, they're baggy, man. If it's it's irritating, the pant size. You know, shirts are not too bad. You know, you go out and buy a sh See, I'm I'm a big guy. Like on shirts, man, I need like a, a extra extra large, okay? Because I'm about two. I think I'm about two seventy eight now. I was two ninety, 
and I lost some weight. I'm down to 270. I think it's 278. I wish I could lose some more. I want to get down to like 230, 220. Too big, you know. But at least I lost some. I mean, I did. I, I lost some. Yeah, but yeah, it's still jacked up. Still too heavy. Just jacked up. But uh, yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these guys anymore, man. Baggy pants. Like this guy came out with the cross from me. He came outside, no belt on, pants, underwear showing, you know. So it's just the day and age we live in. You know, what can you do? But anyway, uh, if I do get paid, uh, if my money is available on Saturday, I'll probably go in and get some Chinese food. I'm thinking about getting Chinese. Chinese is one of my favorites. Love Chinese food. It's probably my favorite. You know, if it's if it's good, if it's cooked good, it's real good. They got this place down here, not too far from me. And there was a review on uh, on the internet, and a guy reviewed it and said he he found roaches in it, and and, and the rice, right? And I thought, oh come on, man, <laughs> he couldn't find roaches in that, really. I mean, I've been down there several times. I never found a roach in the rice, the Chinese rice. I don't know. A couple months ago, I was talking to my neighbor uh, across the street. And she goes, well, you better not go to that place. I found a roach in my rice. And I thought, that's it. That's it for me, man. I'm not going down there, man. That's it. And I ain't been down there since since she told me that. Because that's two reports, one on the Internet, one across the street. And she just brought it up out of clear blue because we were talking about Chinese food. And she brought that place down there and said, yeah, there's roaches in it. So that, uh, I, I go to I go to one. It's about 25 miles from here, and so far it's good. I haven't found nothing in the food or anything, but yeah, it really makes you think, especially them buffets because you know they bring the, the food out. It's in a buffet, and it's just sitting out there, right? And you see flies every so often. You know the flies are getting on it, right? And you're in there piling it on your plate. You don't know if a fly's been on it. You don't know what's in it sitting there. You know, you're putting your trust into the, the the cook that's preparing the food. You're putting your trust in him. And, and nowadays it's even worse because all this crap, you know, especially against uh, against white people. You know, now white people are hated. You know, hate whites, 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 hate whites. It's all their fault. You know, so anytime you go into like a restaurant and, and people back there, you know, are, are not whites, you think they're back there spitting in your food or something, you know, because you're a white person. Uh, I bet it goes on quite a darn bit, and I, I'm leery of it. But you know what? You cannot cook Chinese food at the house. I have tried it. I bought stuff at the store. Try to prepare Chinese food. I tell you, you just can't. I can't do it. I know maybe maybe you some of you can, but I can't do it. Where the noodles taste good, the rice tastes good, the chicken tastes good. I can't do it. You go into a Chinese place, and all of it's good. The rice is good, the noodles are good, the chicken's good, the beef is good. It has that, that great taste to it, you know. And I can't do it at the house. So you got to go in there and put your trust in them, and hopefully they're not back there, you know, wee-weeing in it and tongue in it and, and spitting in it and bugs in it and gnats in it and all that junk. So, you know, you got to worry about that. Now, you can't even go down and get a darn meal and think maybe someone whizzed in it or something. I mean, it's there's no safe place, you know. Everything's upside down. You don't know who to trust, who to believe anymore. Everybody's upside down. You don't know anymore. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? 